Hey everyone, Jonathan Doucette here at San Alberto Dodge. Have a very fresh trade for you. 2021 Ram 3500 Laramie, eight foot box. It's got just under 21,000 kilometers on it. Super fresh, it has sport appearance group. So you take your Laramie and then you add sport appearance group, which is your body color bumpers, door handles, grill surround, as opposed to this being chrome, say on a standard Laramie, it's, it's painted to match the rest of the truck. Um, door handles and then the back bumper is of course as well too. Um, if you have an older truck the uh, the headlights on these are a million times better. It's like you're going from a flashlight to a spotlight. They illuminate so far ahead of you so much to the so wide in the quality light too. It's an LED headlamp so the the, the white light that it produces just illuminates everywhere, especially if you're towing or if you're somewhere in a dark night, you want to see things as far away as possible just to have that extra little bit of, you know, headlights. So if you have a 2016 or 17 Ram, 25 or 3500, it's, it's like I say, two different worlds. 20 inch rims upgraded from the standard, uh, standard 18s. Um, of course, the Firestone Transforce tires, great tires, been on the, this product for a long, long time. Flip up tow mirrors. So with the chrome tow mirrors, you have They'll flip up if you have a larger, larger trailer, you can flip them out. There are little amber tri or triangles in here that'll glow amber if somebody's in your blind spot while you're traveling. Um, so it's handy if you're just driving around town, but it's super handy while you're towing because it'll actually project from the tail light. I believe it's 36 feet or 38 feet back of a trailer as well too. So if you want to merge on the highway and you have a 32 foot trailer, you know, as soon as that amber light goes out, you know you've cleared the person that you're passing and you can slide in in front of them and you're in a safe distance away too. So eight foot box, so absolutely massive. If you have a truck camper, it opens up a whole world of uh, options for you for a sliding camper. Fifth wheels, you do have the fifth wheel prep group. So they when, they, when they have a six and a half to an eight foot box, the, where they add the length to the box, if you will, is in this area right here. So towing a fifth wheel, you won't need a slider hitch anymore. Um, you can do a full maneuver without having to worry about running into the back of the cab of your truck um, versus if it was this much shorter. You know, that's a real concern depending on what kind of fifth wheel you have. And if you do have a fifth wheel, they get the, the call it wheel to wheel cab or sorry, wheel to wheel running board. So if you want to step up in there, actuate your hitch, or if you've got a, a gooseneck ball and a horse trailer and you've got to tie down the, uh, um, you know, the, the safety chains, very easy to get in there and do that. You do have your camera up in the third brake light as well too. So when you put it in reverse, you can see down here to help you hook up, you know, very handy with a gooseneck, a sliding camper or it's your normal fifth wheel, make sure that you're lined up. Cause the crew cabs being very long there can potentially be uh, um, cumbersome to see where your hitch is. So on the key fob, you have unlock lock, it's keyless entry and keyless remote start. So put in the brake push button, but you can also have your drop down tailgate so very handy to have um, spray and bed liner of course you've got a seven-way plug-in right here I'm gonna have to go on the other side if Kennedy here a camera one so you have your your seven-way plug-in and you up here but you also have this 120 volt inverter so it's like a household plug-in and you can actually run you know you can't run a reciprocating saw it's only 400 watts but if you had uh, some, some lights back here, if you ha have a tonneau cover and you wanna put you know, an electric cooler or something like that, you can plug it in there and, and uh, you know, hook it up. And then there's a world of other possibilities, inflating you know, rafts or air mattresses or who knows, the, the, the possibilities are endless. You can have that. And if you're using this for work, plug in your, your um, power tools, but massive box. Throw just about anything in there. Eight by four sheet of plywood, if you can afford one, will easily slide in the back. And then of course you have your backup camera here as well too. Um, and then it'll zoom in for the hitch. So you have a two and a half inch receiver. Previous owners left the two inch reducer sleeve in there. So travel trailers, boats, that kind of a thing, not a, not a problem. Um, another thing with the eight foot box, it's an option, is actually a 189 liter fuel tank. So. I think the standard is, is 121. So it gives you an extra, extra, you know, whatever that works out to be 68, 69, 68 liters of fuel. 
um, sorry, 78, I guess. Um, liters of fuel that you can diesel you can take along with you. So that can mean the next an hour or two of driving, especially while towing. Yeah, let's jump in the back seat. I'll show you what the Ram Crew Cab is all about. Okay, back here in the Crew Cab, um, lots to go over. So you have your flip-up seats. You can see these handy dandy little lights. So they come on when the doors open, kind of illuminate down in the floor well, uh, foot well area. Do have flip-up rear compartment. Being the the upgraded system on the on the uh, on the Laramie trim, you do get a subwoofer under the back seat. Um, some odds and ends from the previous owner. There's a winter front that you want to put on, which, you know, during the orientation, I, I take you through on how to use everything. So, but it does come with it. A couple orders back here. Heated seats in the outside, two seats back here. Another plug-in for a 400 watt inverter. So there's actually one in the front. So you actually have three 120 volt, 400 watt inverter, or sorry, 400 watt plug-ins, but it's 400 watts between all three. So it's not 1200 watts total. It's 400 divided on one single circuit if you will so you can plug whatever you need in here fast charging phones ipads playstations do you have a ram bin back here so tie straps uh, gloves little odds and ends keep it in here take it out there do your work bring everything back keeps it out of the way people put ice pack in there a couple of beverages some sandwiches while you're traveling makes life a lot easier it's going to move this down outside two seats have child safety anchors in here, actually, actually the third one too, not in the middle. So three, you can put three car seats back here. If you don't have car seats, there's two passengers. These guys flip open. And then you have cup holders here, cup holders down here. And yeah, lots of, uh, lots of little USB ports and everything back here. Cup holders again up there. So you have six cup holders within arm's reach. Um, yeah, beautiful black headliner too, being the Laramie. Um, not to pick on the older generations, but the older generation in Laramie would have black leather seats, black interior, da like leather dash and center console, then it'd have a, a beige headliner. So it really brings it into the 21st century and, and makes it a lot more modern by having the, the blacked out headliner. Let's take a look up front and I'll show you a few things technology wise. So foot on the brake, push button ignition. On a cold day, there is a, a, a way to do that with, or just, so you want to cycle your grid heater, so you warm up your engine a little bit. Um, just don't put your foot in the brake and then just click it to run and it'll go through a preheat process. Do that a couple of times when it's like minus 20 um, or even any time it's cold, but just helps heat the engine up. I'm going to turn the dash lights up a little bit here. Um, Ram really hit it out of the park. This Essentially this truck 2019, 2020 and 2021 has been truck of the year. Um, 1500 heavy duty in 2020 and then TRX in 2021. <coughs> um, but the dash and you know technology has kind of been the same for those three years. So very responsive touchscreen system. Um, lots of options for your apps. You have a quick launch bar down here. I always have to put the backup camera. You can see you can move these guys around. So you can do quick launch bar down here. Backup camera. Um, you can zoom in on hitch. And then you have your cargo camera I was talking about earlier. So especially if you have a, a, a gooseneck or you're, you're trying to line up your gooseneck trailer. It's really hard to see the box of the truck with the bigger cab. So definitely comes in handy. Um, Sirius XM, AM, FM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Sirius XM Guardians, another thing too, there's an SOS and an assist button up here. So it's a subscription-based service. So if you have your um, smartphone, you can actually um, subscribe, to, subscribe to it. You can remote start your truck from your phone. Um, you have, uh, instead of calling the, the roadside assistance number, you can just push assistance or hook you up to the call center, come change your tire if your truck's broken down, tow you into a, a dealership. And then you have SOS. So if you're traveling on the highway, you don't know exactly where you're at, um, you know, to the, to the mile or to the GPS coordinates, push that. They'll figure out where you're at. If you come across an accident or God forbid you're in one, and then they'll, you know, send emergency response to your exact GPS location as opposed to you trying to figure out what mile marker you're on or what you know, township road. So very handy to have, especially if you're traveling in the mountains. Another tailgate release button up here. So drop your tailgate. If you're especially if you're hooking up a fifth wheel, drop that, hook up, get out and put, close it. Rear sliding window, very handy to have. Um, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. With the remote start, when it's 26 degrees and above, your vented seats will come on on the driver's side. And when it's uh, four degrees and cooler, your heated seat will come on at the remote start and push button start, as well as your heated steering wheel. Um, you have duplicate controls up here on your touchscreen. You can you can do everything here as well too. Um, very handy to have. 
do have automatic exhaust brake, so push that on. It's going to be full exhaust, automatic exhaust, and then off. You know, I have a diesel truck myself, uh, 3500, you know, same 2020, and I roll with my exhaust brake on all the time. Just save your brakes. It's good for the turbo, good for the exhaust brake. It doesn't get gummed up. It just, uh, at least it's with the text home, anyways. Um, tow haul mode, parking sensors front and rear. And then you have a, uh, let's see if I can turn the light on here real quick. You do have your uh, cell phone charging right here. So if you have a phone that's wirelessly charging capable, slot it in here and then it will uh, it will charge. And then you have your USB ports back here. So USB-C and USB type two. And then your 120 volt inverter is way down there, but it is down there. 12 volt receptacle. So if you have a dash cam or um, you know anything you want to put up there, another independent GPS unit, you can do that. Radar detector. So put your phone in there. I'll show you real quick. And then that'll, it's kind of finicky, but you gotta get the right spot. There you go, just had it right there. So, I'm gonna show you this. You can see a little, sorry, blue light go, comes on, means that you're charging. Little compartment back here, flip up. There's a USB port in the back. So if you wanted to put your iPod in here and not have it exposed, you can do that. And this will open up as well. And then you have a nice big storage compartment down here. This guy will slide back and forth. And as you can see, Ram does a phenomenal job everywhere. Um, just about the details, the nooks and crannies, um, you know, makes it user, you know, user friendly. It's the best selling, longest lasting heavy duty truck in the last, over the last 35 years. So, um, they've been doing it right for a long time and they're going to be doing it right for a long time to come. Yeah. A million things you could go over. I could frankly make a, a half an hour video, but I think the camera lady would be a little angry at me and probably, uh, wouldn't want me to do another video, but give me a show to my cell, 780-952. 3018 and we'll talk about you how this truck can help you out in towing or work or whatever you need to do.